Hello everyone. Hey guys, what is up? It's Brony's play and we're gonna be playing Black Ops Combat Training because Jason likes to play first person shooters. First person shooters. I guess we'll play for 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. Or as long uh, as we do a team deathmatch, yeah. We're on the same team, just guys. Rings. Should we play on a DLC map or a normal one? We're gonna play fucking Nuketown. Nuketown. The only good map in the history of the world. What if we play like Shanghai. No! Did you change your kill streak? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, those are good enough. Hey, fuck the spy plane. I already know what I'm going I already know what I'm going for. Good shit. Alright, let's go. We can do this. Alright, just make sure we have everything. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're on the street. Okay. We all need classes. Um. But here's the problem. It won't let us name the classes. We're just gonna have to tell you what it is. Yeah. So we have Bron we have uh, classes that are related to. I ponies. have the main six, except for Twilight Sparkle. I'm sorry for those Twilight Sparkle fans. I, I like Twilight Sparkle myself. I have uh, Big Macintosh, Doctor Who, Derpy Hooves, Trixie, and Spetsnaz. 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 Move my Big Mac. With his big red gun. Okay, David, I, I got your ass. I'm like the heavy. Sandwich. Shit. You okay? Do you need me to call a doctor? Call the doctor hoops! Oh. I'm gonna use every class. Oh, what the fuck? No, you did not just kill doctor hoops. See his leg? What happened to his leg? Fuck you! Well, it all started ten years ago. It was dark and cold nights. He was just admiring the nice good weather that Santa Claus came in with a machine gun. He was on fire, except for his testicles. And he was admiring everything about your body. He tried to give you a hug, but you ran away because he's on fucking fire. So, then you lost your leg, because you tripped on a bug. What? What? A cog on my python. Oh shit. Let's call my let's call my scootaloo. Okay. My Trixie is a sniper. Oh no, no, no! Oh no, I'm bleeding. Oh I'm bleeding blood of blooding. You're bleeding blood of blooding. I have bleeding blood of blood blood. blood. Roll the flashbang! No! You asshole, come back here and accept the flash! He's accepting the flash! You all run away! Fuck you, I'm gonna go down with that fight! Fuck you, from the fucking fuck fuck! Snaker. Go bam, on my bam, tricks! Bam, 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 bam. Go on my tricksy! Brooklyn Rage. They don't see this coming. Oh god, I didn't see this coming. Oh, my face. My face. Tamak. <laughs> they said you can never pass Tamak school, but that just proved them wrong. Except this will. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Ah, yeah, uh. This is. I'm a good snake. Why did I make the first check life golden? I don't know. Cause she's my favorite pony, that's why. Shot fucking nuts. Scooter's obviously the best pony. Oh yeah, in celebration to the other bronies today, getting 45 subscribers. Oh yeah, that's right. Congratulations to you guys, man. Good job. Everything. Maybe some of their subscribers will be pointed in our direction. Hmm. 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 I hope. I, I really do hope. Yeah. You know, we're just low-class people. They have everything. They have Facebook, Twitter, a yeah. website. They have fucking t-shirts that they're selling already. You know, we, need we, to, have, we need to make, like... I just something. feel like it's not worth it yet. I know, we need to make something for our, like, fans. Quote, unquote. Fan. But, but people watch us. Man, Jason's gonna be that guy. It's like, hey guys, you watch, you watch Bronies play. They'll be like, yeah, man, Bronies plays totally. You watch your prototype, and he's gonna be like, yeah. 
Well, I was their first fan. Boy. No, you will be our fan forever. We, you will be known forever. But then there's going to be, like, our bassist dies. It's going to be like, oh, man, she's not the same because we need a new bassist. You know, like, Slipknot. Wow. Yeah. There's some deep emotional shit with drugs. Yeah, you'll get addicted to sex, heroin, and alcohol at the same time. All at the same exact time. Burn. I don't know what's going on there yet. Because fuck you, that's why. Shocked, actually. I'm, I'm gonna kill one person with a ballistic knife. Oh, and my goal is done. Okay, I just killed someone right behind him. You know what he does? Just walks right past. You know. You gotta love these bots that are on regular. Yeah. I, I don't even like Call of Duty. Fuck. Wait. You know what? Dr. Hoops. I stab people who disagree. Oh, we should tell them the story of Call of Duty Madness. Oh, God. Tell them the story of Call of Duty Madness. Well, once upon a chuckle fucking time. In a land far, far away in the city of Townsville. What? Um. Uh, that's a nice reference there. Um, we had a channel called Invader Soup. Well, I had a channel called Invader Soup. It's basically dead now. It's 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 up and it's up, but it's yeah. We, I'm trying to get all 22 subscribers from Invader Soup to try to come over to Brony's play. But um, and there was a night where what the fuck happened to his leg? Where uh, me, Austin here, and someone named Jason. Lego Diver 99. Yeah, Lego Diver. Uh, stayed the night together. At, at, at his at house. My house. Like one time ever. And we're playing PS3. And we decide. And I have like this nifty Sony handy cam. So I'm like, hey guys, why don't we make a video? Because, you know, I didn't care how we made the video. I just wanted to make a video. And no, it was a camera. It wasn't a capture card. It was a camera. It was a normal camera. And we set it up behind us. So I guess you could kind of see our reactions. It's like in a third person kind of look. Yeah. And like, uh, what happened then was, uh, we sat there and we played Call of Duty, we played a round of Call of Duty between ourselves. And if you want to go watch how stupid and young we were, and you actually- Not only stupid and young, but the bad quality. Yeah. It makes me want to like- And you can actually see in that video, you can see me and Austin a few years back, me with my short, silly blonde hair. Me being fucking a camera hog, not anymore. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, you know, my silly short blonde hair compared now to my amazing long pink hair. Used to be purple. Yeah, it used to be purple. Um, so I wanna, I wanna go through, uh, all, either all the main sexist colors or all the colors of the rainbow. And you think he's joking, he's not, he actually has hair that is... I don't, I don't. Like, Pinkie Pie Pink. I don't like change. It's not that much of a change, though. It is a major change, changing the hair. It's the first thing you fucking see. It's like when I pierced my ears. I fucking hate that as well. At least it cover, at least your fucking pink-ass hair covers that. I don't even like piercing. Yeah, it's your How are we friends? <laughs> no, oh, I always... well, I see. I, I remember the story behind that, too. Oh, yeah, I sort of do as well. We're, uh, so Austin's sitting there in math class, and it's my first, it's like our first no, day No, it was there. tech class. Yeah, we were sitting there in tech class. All of a sudden I burst in, and I'm like, hi, everyone. I sit down next to Austin. We he was friends. late, he was late. Yeah, I was late to class. I burst in the door, but like, hi, everyone, really loudly, and we became friends. And he was like, oh, we should hang out. Like, where are we going to go? Oh, it's me at the Tim, it's me at the fucking Wilson Farms on the street. Like, yeah. Then I walk over there in my scooter, and then David's right there, sitting, looking at his texting thing, wearing his military cap. Or my Fidel cat. And I was just like, oh, hey, how's it going? Okay. Yeah. So then we take over to his house. And I... No, we went over to your house. We went over to my house. Cause it was like the very first the very first week I met you, that weekend, I stayed the night. And that was also the week I broke my arm. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So. They just raided the house. That's also how we, uh, that's also when we first, like, beat Halo Reach. Oh yeah, you also came over when I got Dead Rising 2. Yeah, and we watched Emil die, and we were like, no, Emil, poor K, pantalones. I'm my daughter. I am not putting the link for Call of Duty Madness. 
I'll put it in the description. No, box. fuck that. But I, 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 I can't. I, I don't. If you want to go check it out, go look up Invader Soup 22. There's like video. There's a few videos. Like horrible. Three with me and with both me and Austin. How, how old was that video? Three years old. Call of Duty Madness. Yeah. That was when we were like fucking twelve. That was like before UBCon, so I was twelve. Yeah. We were like, no, cause yeah, we're yeah, thirteen. We're like 15, 16 now, and they're like fucking. I, I, I'm saying they're like, we're, like they're other people. We're really no, they, us. They're us. You got you got to look at how far we came, I guess. And it's funny because we we're we're gonna, but it's it's funny because we're gonna be looking at this video in a few years and thinking the same exact fucking thing. Yeah. That's what we did for. Um, Cause then we'll just continue. Let's build on the story. We we also did a video story of the pirates, which was three months sort of, about sort three of. months later. Yeah. And uh and uh, Assassin's Creed one thousand. Well, three months later, sort of the pirates. Or Assassin's horrible. Creed thirty three and three eighths Grand Saints are at the thought of one thousand. And also, we thought it was bad as well. So we're like, well, let's make a lot better of it. December, about two years ago, we made that video. It 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 was the longest video we did, and we had to split it into two parts. But it was better, but there was a lot of stuff we had to take out of it. There was everything we fucking... We even spent writing there. I remember, like, David We, we called me. up, like, every single day and, like, worked the script out and, like, perfected it. And there was so much we left out of it that would have made it, like, a golden video. And the reason being was probably because the amount of stuff we had. We had nothing... Okay, first of all, if there, you give a 12-year-old a camera, he's going to make a bad video, even there, with a good idea. Yeah, there's, we had a great, we had a great concept, <clears throat> we had a great concept, bad video. Um, it was basically, we get, it was like Tron, but it was supposed to be like, really shitty Tron, like some guy makes a game and it's really fucking shitty. Um, and what happens is, you know, we're... Walking as we get sucked into the game, and we're walking around. We start getting chased by this cop, who's also played by Austin, because we only had two people making this video at the time. And then my little brother. Yeah, and then Jeffrey, like, appears a few times. There was like once where he walks into the game room, and we're all frozen in front of the TV. Then he goes pee on my clothes. Yeah, then he's like, Austin, can I pee on your clothes? And then like a fart noise, like a fart sound effect, because you know we thought that was funny. Because, yeah, we were 12. Yeah, and then it's like... And he's like, I'll take that as a yes. And he walks out like a chick. And he walks out like a girl. And then, like, it, in the beginning of the second part of the video, it's like him drinking a thing of water. And there's, like, a bunch of crushed cans and bottles everywhere. And he's like, let's do this. And he, like, pulls out, like... I'm, I'm still thinking, what were we clothes. thinking during that entire video? Like, no, that was a funny concept, and that was a, I, re, I remember, like, still, I, I remember just a few months ago, I still made a t-shirt design for peeing on Austin's clothes. Because I remember, I was like, man, I really want to have a t-shirt of this, because I think people, if my videos caught on, would buy it. And it's like Jeffrey looking over his shoulder with this look on his face, like he's so accomplished, and it says peeing on Austin's clothes. You know, I, I have to say, though, like what I just said, though, give a 12-year-old a camera and a great idea, they're going to make a bad video. Yeah. But, you know what? Give Nigga Hick a camera, he'll make an amazing but since video. We're, since give we're on me it right a now. Give me a camera, and I'll make something that will kill your brain, like cocaine. But now we, now we, well, let's get into the creation of Bronies Play. I think this, I think the creation happened, like, maybe oh, a year ago. Bro, the idea of Bronies Play first, like, the very first time it spawned in a thought. We were I, like... I really have to tell you this, though. I, I, I'm really the person who probably came up with the thing. When I was, um, yeah, when I definitely. was playing with my friends, right, I, I learned something. I am really good at just, at, like, fucking improv on gaming. Yeah. I was really good at commentating and everything like that. I'm, I'm good at comedy. I'm a comedian. That's something I do. It takes me a little bit to think on the spot, but it'll still, but I can still think of pretty good shit on the spot. But anyway, like, so then, like, I was like, okay, cool, you know what? I'm gonna save up for a capture card. So then, uh, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. I keep thinking about I want a capture card. I always like went in a uh, ga game chat on like any game like Halo and Call of Duty and always like. Oh God! I remember. Like, I remember watching you do that. That was fucking amazing. So, you know, I, for some reason I'm still a lot better playing online than I am actually playing by myself. For some reason, just talking to people. But let's continue this. 
When I went to Florida to visit my friends uh, for the summer, this summer, I was like, my, my grandma gave me $200. I'm like, fuck this. I'm saving this for the capture card. And when I finally got home, I called David up and be like, yo, dude, I'm here. We have to go get this capture card. So that, that same weekend, he comes over, we go to Best Buy, we spend around, I think, three-fourths of that money on a mic and the capture card itself. Yeah. We spent two weeks trying to figure out the entire piece of shit. Yeah, that, figuring out how to use Pinnacle it was just, horrible. Yeah. Using it now is like a breeze. It's easy. Yeah. But now it's like, that, but like back then it was a pain in the ass. Yeah. That was, it, it's still, it's like, and I remember you first bringing it up. You're like, hey man, what if we did a Let's Play? I was like, what the fuck's a Let's Play? I told you, like, I, I like that same time, too. Because I was thinking about the commentating, about me commenting by myself, and I'm thinking, you know, I could do this with David, too. We could do it for, like... Because I always wanted to get involved in the Brony community, period. When I became a Brony in January me, 10th. The first time I tried getting part of a Brony community was uh, music. Me and someone did a... Uh, tried to do, like, a music thing called Raven and Kita. And he makes music, and he's pretty good. He makes, like dirty dubstep and whatnot and i sucked because i was supposed to write lyrics and i we i just never recorded but that's the first time i tried to get involved i i always wanted to get involved when i figured out that i could do this capture thing with david i'm like you know what? i i just mentioned that like david let's we should start this yeah and, and we started working out the kinks and everything we started we started even practicing i remember us playing random games and just just one of us saying, all right, this is Brony's play, and then we see the game we're playing. Yeah. And then we always just, like, commentate. Like, there was actually people watching us play. Yeah. It's... It's, it's, it's like cool. a childhood dream. It's, it's like... We come from a generation where going on YouTube and becoming famous overnight is something, like, the that half the people day. dream of. It, it's our dream, really. Me and David actually both started, um... Me and David, David was from California, I was from Florida. We both actually made videos at the same age, too. I was yeah. doing it with my Florida friends, he was doing it with his Californian friends. And when we got together, we were just like, wow, we had the similar backgrounds and everything. We both wanted to be YouTube stars. Yeah, we both had that idea of, we can make this happen, we're gonna do this. And I, like, even with Invader Soup, if the videos were months apart, I, like, strive to try to be that. Even though I knew I was not as good as Nigahiga, and I was not as good as all these people, it was something that I was bent on. I was, like, hell-bent to become YouTube famous. And, I, and nowhere near... And same with me, too. I wanted to be famous all over the fucking webs. Yeah, the interwebs. I made a lot of attempts at being famous, period. Uh, like, on the internet, one of them, which, uh, I'm not sure how people on YouTube are gonna react, was funnyjunk.com. I don't even go there anymore. I have not been there in months. I went there, like, two weeks ago. It's still, I realize how much it sucks. But, uh, I would go there and, I would go there and everything, and I'd, like, make really bad comics. And be like, oh I've my god. Too. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, it's so cool because I open up comics on Funny Junk. And everyone would like, would like dislike my picture and just be like, dude, you fucking suck. Stop posting pictures. And I'd be like, oh, you guys. I have, um, I have been on, um, I, I cannot be trolled if I really tried. I mean, I could, like, when I'm with my friends, I don't really try. Like, if they just fuck with me, I'm like, I just go with it. But when other strangers try to troll me, it's like almost impossible for them to do it. Yeah. Especially here for David, too. It's, you know... It's like we sit there and we'll like run into each other. Be like, oh, hey, Austin, fuck you, fuck you too, man. All right, best friends. That, I, it's weird. Now you think about our personalities, this is the one thing that made us friends. Yeah, like, gaming was what brought us apart. My Little Pony is what brought us... Or, Gaming is what brought us together. My Little Pony is what brought us together. YouTube is what brought you know, us now, together. Now that you mention that, let's also talk about how we became bronies. David became a brony before I did, and he converted me. My 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 story behind becoming a brony is probably like the typical story. I'm sitting there on Facebook one day, and a really close friend of mine just posts, posts her status as, 
guys, why don't you guys like My Little Pony? I'm like, it just doesn't look that good to me, and I bronies are annoying. They just shove it down my face. Like religion. Yeah, and I'm like, and she's like, just, just give it a shot. I'm like, fine, I'll fucking give it a shot. Because so many people have been telling me to give it a shot. So I go, I watch the first episode. Alright, so it's nothing special. It's the same thing as, like, every other Lauren Faust cartoon. To be episode. honest right now, to be honest right now, I hated the first episode. Because I've watched it so much, and it's not the best episode in the world. Yeah, it's not my favorite. My favorite is, uh, one of my favorites is, uh, shit, what was it? I don't count Cancel Out Wedding because it was too good of an episode. Yeah. So, uh, I'd say my favorite is actually, like, uh, Sister Group Social. I forget mine. I think and it's... Lesson Zero. Lesson Zero and, uh, Party for... And Party of One, my favorite. Party of One was another one of my favorites. I forget which my favorite was. Yeah. But, um, so I go, I watch the first episode, and I'm doing, like, I'm going on Facebook and, like, posting a status, because she wants to see how I'm doing as I watch each episode. If I watch the first episode, you know, I'm like, oh, it's nothing special. It's like any other cartoon for little kids I've seen. It's cute, it's fuzzy, it's pink. Um. Like Barbie shit. Yeah, I, I didn't, I, and what happens is, uh, then what happens is, Watch the second episode. I'm like, okay, it's starting to pick up. The sense of humor is jumping up a little bit. I'm, I'm warming up to it, a li just a little bit. And I was like, but I'm not a brony. I'm not a brony. It's just getting a little better. And then by the third episode, I was like, guys, guys, you're fucking ponies, dude. It's amazing. And, um, yeah, David came over that, uh, around January, I think. It was the beginning of January. And I brought up ponies. He brought up ponies with my friend Zach, too. If you look up on my channel, you'll see him. Um, he, um, they were talking about it. I remember, too, I remember the exact game I was playing. I was playing Halo Reach, I was playing Invasion, and it was Spire. And he was quizzing me on things in the show. Like, when Rainbow Dash saved Rarity in Sonic Rainbow. And I was like, what the fuck are these people talking to? I was like, what the fuck? I was even laughing half the time, too. Like yeah, a regular non bro He was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about, you bunch of faggots? I remember the first episode I watched, too. It was, um... Uh, Baby Cakes. Baby Cakes. I, when I, the first time I watched it, I was like, what? Yeah. What? I was, like, starstruck. Then I was like, I'm gonna watch... Th uh, I'm gonna give it another try. Yeah. And then when I did that, I became a brony. Uh, to be honest, Baby Cake scares me because there's a train spotting. There's a uh, train spotting reference in it. But um. Huh. <sighs> All right. So so basically, when I always saw someone, I usually went to um back to when I used to play Call of Duty a lot. I used to go to Game Chat and talk about it to random people. Yeah. Of course, there would be people that wouldn't give a fuck. Then there's you know the, the average you know Paris Bright people. But um. It was like, though, if I could take someone like me, right? Someone who hated, who just honestly just had aggression for that show in the way beginning. Then you just show them an episode and you're like, what the fuck is this? And then that's that's what happens. It makes you a brony. That's why I want people to feel that same thing. Yeah, it's... That's why I became a missionary for bronies. For like half, kind of. for half my fucking but thing. Trust me, no matter how much of a brony you are, no matter how much you go around talking about how much you like the show, that's your opinion. You can voice that opinion. No one can stop you from doing that. But no matter, uh, I'm just gonna say this, and this is kind of jokingly, because trust me, I'm one of these people. When I say this, you can't be as bad as the Homestuck fandom. <laughs> the Homestuck fandom goes around, and will just. Tell random people, let me tell you about Homestuck, and say it whether everyone is going to stab them or not. And the Homestuck fandom gets really annoying. But we're not talking about Homestuck, we stay in the ponies right now. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm okay. just saying, bronies cannot be annoying, is that? stay this in the ponies way. Yeah. Alright, so, as we are, um, so as we progress, I, I remember the exact day I began a brony, January 10th. Um, my original favorite pony was Pinkie Pie. Uh, and I actually find it a joke. Uh, usually when, uh, new bronies come in, their favorite pony is usually Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Because of how she's the tomboy of the group. And she's the one that makes all the, you know, the 90s kind of things. Like, you know, awesome and shit like that. Yeah. And that's why. I have friends who Rainbow Dash is his favorite pony now, so... It's kind of like, you know, see that multi-kill, David? Yeah. So I was like, you know... 
I, I, I didn't really have sure. that anymore. Uh, no, it's like, I jumped between having favorite ponies. First, I, it I was Ra- First it was Rainbow Dash, then it was Applejack. Then it was Pinkie Pie, then back to Rainbow Dash. Then Pinkie Pie, then Rainbow Dash, then Applejack, then Big Mac, then Rarity. And I... I've come to the conclusion that I don't have that I don't have a favorite pony. I like the po- I like all the ponies equally. I find that complete bullshit. But you know that's, like, that's if, my thing. If I have to choose a favorite from the main six, it's a really tough choice between Pinkie Pie and Rarity to me. If uh, I can choose a favorite out of just anyone from the show, uh, that's absolutely uh, Big Macintosh. I um to say this like. I believe that there's a favorite to everyone, no matter what, even if they you don't say puppy. it. There's holy shit! Oh god, they're 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 adapting. They're adapting. They're gonna invade the room. Oh, how's it going? So like, I believe that there's always a favorite to someone. They just don't know it yet. Yeah, like I'll, I'll say out of the main six, it's a really tough choice. If you're making me choose out of the main six, I'll say Binky Pie. Mine is Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, uh, I, I think Derpy Hooves would probably be in there, uh, Twilight Sparkle, Lyra, Rarity, Shirley. Um, Shirley's another one, if you're telling me to choose out of background ponies, that's another real tough choice for Shirley's not a background pony. Still, she's not, like, one of the main six. If you're telling me... not main character. Yeah, if you're telling me character. to choose someone that's not one of the main six, it's a real tough choice between Big Mac and, uh, Shirley for me. Um, you know, you know how Parasprite should act? There's a really good example of how Parasprite should act. I have a friend named David. He's not a brony. He's, he, he's not a brony. I think I've met him, yeah. Yeah, you met him at UBCon. He's not, like, a hardcore, like, oh my god, I love my little pony, but he's not a new brony. Trelly. Yeah, he's neutral. He's watched a few episodes of the show just to understand why we and that's like what, it And that's so all much. I want. That's all I want people to do. Just watch at least an yeah. episode of the show, and he'll, that's it. He'll watch it with us, and yeah, he'll crack a joke every now and then, but, you know. But he's not cracking them too often, and he does have a pony. He does have a favorite pony. He likes Fluttershy, but it's, yes, man. he's not a brony. He just, he'll, he's open enough to watch it with us. And he's open enough to understand why we like it and let us explain why we like it. Alright, so yeah, you know my friend Nick. Yeah. My black friend Nick, check him up on my channel again. Um, anyway, he, he makes jokes about the show all the time. But you know what, I'm okay with it. Because he actually watched an episode. Yeah. I say, if you don't like the show, you can make jokes about it, okay? If you at least watched it, though. Yeah. But, and, there, there's another fandom that is, that I, uh, it's kind of the same way Parasprites act toward bronies, but I just don't like it. People who like the show Moody Gloom, what the fuck that show is. I'm yeah. sorry, just do not like that show. Is that show about that dumb bitch? It's about some little girl who lives in a scary house. I guess it's trying to be like goth or something for little kids. I guess. But it's... I tried it, I watched a few episodes, I swear to god, I really tried, but it's the same thing with the Hunger Games. I do like, I love a lot of things based on survival, but I didn't really, I didn't really want to get interested in the Hunger Games. One reason, it's mainstream. That's not why I didn't like it, it's, I read I don't the- like fr- mainstream shit. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of mainstream stuff I don't like, like Emma Crombie and Finch, and Hollister, and anything having to do with J.C. Penny. <laughs> or American Eagle. But uh, the, the reason I don't like that is because of how many douchebags wear it and because you're paying like 60 bucks for a t-shirt. Um, Which is a load of shit because yeah. you can get one for 20 on the internet. You can get one from like... You can get a pack of like 10 white t-shirts from Walmart for 7 bucks and then just write like American Eagle on it. That's what you do. Boom. Yeah, I, I buy, like, fuck tons of white t-shirts and buy, like, the press-on designs and just, like, put my own designs on t-shirts. Hey, man, where'd you get that t-shirt? I made it in my kitchen. Um, oh, wow. One minute and 50 second warning, David. Yeah. But there's, uh... But, yeah, that's not why I, li- I don't like it. I tried reading it. I really did try. I got, like, halfway through the first book and I was just like, oh, God, what the fuck? Because everyone was like, oh, my God, it's better than Harry Potter. And I was just like, no. No, it's not. 
You know what's weird? What? For this entire episode, we didn't talk about a single thing about Call of Duty, except for a minor reference in, like, the medium. Alright, let's do it for the last, uh... Uh, for last, the last uh, minute last and a half. Oh my god, man, I'm fucking you're killing these noobs, noobs. you're blowing you're up. Really oh my god, noobs, 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 noobs. Like oh my god, you, you could do this so yeah, much better rich. than every other game oh on the god, planet. Oh my god, god. god, yeah, it's better than sex. We're yeah, yeah, killing yeah. stuff, and yeah, yeah, yeah we customize this guy. Yeah, we customize, and, and we can, and we can change the color of our guns, we can give you face paints. Yeah, we get gross shit. And we get like, grenades. And it's like, it's so like, based on real life. An explodey car, man. I wanna go to the war, man. And we're gonna like, yeah, this is, we're gonna join the army, and this is exactly what it's gonna be like. And we get shot in the head, but you know it's gonna be okay, because they totally got respawn points out in Iraq. Hell so, you know, yeah. we'll be like, driving around, and we'll be shot, and what the fuck's going on, but you know, I'll be all like, driving around little cars that like, are electric. Everyone knows that Team Fortress 2 is gay. I haven't played it, yeah, but I know it's gay. Team Fortress totally sucks, you know. I, I've never played it in my life. I don't even own it. I know nothing about the game, but you know, it's totally fucking gay. It oh my god, all, all, the other, all the other games suck too, yeah, like every, Minecraft. Every, every game Halo. sucks. Every fucking game sucks except for Call of Duty, man. Call of Duty sure. is so fucking amazing. Call of Duty. It, it's better than every other game on the planet. Call of Duty has has guns, zombies. It doesn't have big babies. But that's awesome. No, it does, it does. You can make your emblem into a naked lady. You know? Oh, yeah. Call of Duty's totally fucking sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just fucking sweet, man. Alright, guys, so that entire video, we just, we demanded our life story. And, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, so I guess, um, uh, thank you very much. If you would like any more of, if you have any questions or anything, we could probably do a Q&A episode. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, so, uh, thank you for watching. And shout out to Jason out there, because you're our only fan, and we love you. Thank you.